Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm memory planning the week of Halloween in 2021, which is very fun. <laughs> was a, I had a really great time using this kit. Um, it's a recent week and I'm it's funny, kind of so behind in fall spreads, I barely even started posts. I don't even know if I've posted one. I filmed some, but I don't know if I've posted them. Um, and I just kind of skipped over all of fall to do an actual Halloween spread in hopes that I could get this up on Halloween. But as you'll see, I had a pretty busy Halloween weekend. I mean, not too busy, but I was doing stuff and it just didn't happen, unfortunately. That's always hard because when you memory plan, um, well, I'll talk about that in a sec. I'm showing you the kit right now, which is from Panda Bird Design. Um, you can see I got four of the add-on deco sheets. I also grabbed some add-on headers. Oh, and right here I'm showing you my freebie that I have with the shop. Um, you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. And then I also have a code for the shop. It's Lauren15 for 15% 15 off. Here I'm showing you uh, all of the deco that I, the Halloween kind of theme deco that I pulled aside to pull into this spread. I mentioned this in my last Halloween plan with me, I think, um, which was the last video up on my channel. It's a plan ahead of this week. You can check that out if you're interested. It's two little bees. I did a very different kind of spread there where it's much more like cute and pretty and fun, I feel like. But um, I did mention when I was doing that plan ahead how I, I just love a theme. Like I, <laughs> in my planner, I get so excited when I can have a bunch of like Halloween stickers and, um, you know, just, I love it. I love when I can do a bunch of theme stickers all together and just make the, the, spread look totally different than anything else in my um, planner. So I had a lot of fun with that this week. The The two little bees one that I did for the plan ahead in my other planner was much more like fun and pretty and kind of typical. I mean, I use two little bees kits all the time. This kit, when I purchased it, it's unlike anything I've ever used before. It's really dark, which tends to intimidate me a lot. Um, I, I really prefer to use lighter colors. Generally. Well, it's not that I prefer. I love darker colors. Like don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. I just do better for some reason. I don't know why when I use lighter, more like pastel -y pinks and stuff. So I always get a little bit intimidated by dark colors and there was no pink in this spread. It was very like hauntingly beautiful, I'd say. It's very spooky, very haunting, um, very dark um, as opposed to the pink and the gold in the other one I did. But I had so much fun with it. Like it was such a challenge because it was different, but Panda Bird Design, she has a great kit format. It's really unique. Her style is totally different than anybody else out there. Uh, she's got a hard to replicate style. Um, and it was a lot of fun to play with. Um, so I really enjoyed it. The I was sh When I went through and showed all the stickers that I had, I ended up using, even though I had kind of the same, I buy uh, my Halloween stickers in gold and I buy them in silver because I knew I wanted to do those two kits this year. Um, one silver, one gold foiled. And I, it's funny because they kind of had the same set of stickers for the most part, but I used more of different ones for this. So I bought stickers from, well, I had a lot from last year. Um, I had some Sadie stickers and some Pretty Pinko from last year and some Rose Color Days ones, I think. And then this year I also bought from, I bought more Sadie stickers, more Pretty Pinko and some from Bloom Paper Studio. The Bloom Paper Studio ones were much more organic feeling and the Pretty Pink Co. ones were more like, I don't know, not cartoony, but definitely much more structured. And the Sadie Stickers ones are somewhere in between, I think. And I used a lot more of the Bloom Paper Studio ones in the spread because I really wanted that like creepy, more organic feel. And um, it's, I think it worked. The whole spread is just kind of, I, I wanted it to feel like it was just kind of dripping in spider webs and that there was little bats and spiders kind of crawling everywhere and the florals were kind of peeking out everywhere and just like, I don't know, taking over all the, the, I love the trees. I love the shape of those trees. They're so creepy. I hope I can get some trees like that for, um, the winter season and use them in a less creepy way. But, um, I don't know. It just was different. It was kind of a different thing. Um, kind of tried to, I don't know, tried to like make the creepiness flow, I think, from from 
one part of the planner spread to the other. So anyways, um, I did the date covers up there. You can see I, I kind of have been experimenting a little bit, I feel, with um, kind of making the top of my date covers flow together instead of just looking at a single individual date cover. I feel like a lot of the inspiration from that comes from Kay, although I'm not quite doing what she's doing where she'll like make a central kind of focus point of deco and then extend it out. I just more am interested in or I've been playing around with kind of like getting just not just looking at it more holistically than like decorating this date cover on Monday and then decorating the date cover on Tuesday, etc. So um, yeah, that was kind of fun. And then down here, I'm working the week of work from home and I had so much fun doing this. I think this turned out so pretty. I She had these giant um, like corner kind of floral pieces and they were black and white and I did this a lot throughout the spread. I used some of the just plain white fancy boxes that she included in the kit and kind of layered it over those florals. I didn't like play with them at all or like put a lot of times when I layer stickers I'll like take little pieces of of the florals and layer it over something else or I don't know. I just literally put the half box or the fancy box right over top. Um, anyways okay so I think that is a lot about the well, I probably mentioned a couple more things about the base. The October script is from Honey Ink. I also put down some, um, some, uh, trim over the washi, um, down at the bottom there. That's from Sadie Stickers. Again, I use primarily deco from, um, Sadie Stickers, Pretty Pink Co., and Bloom Paper Studio. Those are three of my all-time favorite shops for, um, like seasonal deco when I say I just love a theme they all come out with great like theme two dollar Tuesdays so check all of them out I have coupon codes and freebies to all three of those shops so definitely take a look um I skipped over Monday but it wasn't super interesting I just marked a meeting and pulling that up there because I didn't like I tried to use the scallop kind of layering shape but it wasn't for me so I ended up going with a floral that I cut down instead I also um marked that I went to Trader Joe's and then I just had a bunch of to-dos here so I used one of her to-do lists and then um, I marked, Stephen and I like went to Trader Joe's and then it was late by the time we were done. So we just went and picked up dinner after. So I'm marking, um, that down here with one of her scallops. I'm not going to lie. I don't love how Monday turned out. And I feel like it took me a second to kind of get into the flow of like understanding how I wanted to use these stickers. I don't know. It just, the feel of this kit felt so much different than what I'm used to. So it took me a second to kind of warm up to it. But once I did, well, actually I felt like I would like totally had it down for the base and then planning the day by day, I got kind of like, Oh, what's going on? And then on Tuesday I felt a little bit better, um, and started really getting to the flow and then loving it. So, okay. Tuesday, um, here I'm marking, I, I feel a little weird saying this, but I got a huge raise on this day, which was super exciting. I totally wasn't expecting it. It came out of the like normal cycle where my company does raises and it was pretty significant. So I was just blown away and super surprised and it was incredible. So that was wonderful. And I was super just like on a high all day from that. Um, so again, I marked it with the same kind of thing. There were those big florals um, that I used in the sidebar and then there was kind of like smaller sized versions of them too. So I did the same kind of thing, just a, a version that was smaller and then some of that Sadie stickers deco. Um, I marked that I walked and picked up some coffee for lunch this day and grabbed lunch. Um, so I marked that with a coffee cup and I put, instead of using like a little bow for foil, I used some of the Sadie stickers bats on all of the icons, which was really cute. Um, I had to buy another dress <laughs> for a wedding that I'm going to have had so much trouble with this dang dress for this wedding that I'm trying to go to. I need to buy like a dress icon or something at this point because I'm going to so many weddings. I have to buy a lot of dresses. So I got to be on the lookout for that. And then we also did a home tour. Was it a single home? I think it was a single home tour this day. Um, so I marked that using a box from the kit and then my favorite trick of all time, and she's got some of the best boxes to do it with. Um, this one in particular that I used on Tuesday, I love taking her half boxes from Hannah Bird Design, which 
um, don't aren't whited out and then putting the pretty pink home mini box over top the sizing of the the third box with the mini box on top from these two shops is perfect <laughs> and I love it I think it looks so good um, so then I took the icon and again more florals I also used um, oh, I have it sitting in front of me I used oh and then I went to get my nails and I had a pedicure appointment after that, um, I used the Serene Deco with this kit as well, which I think I mentioned whenever I was hauling these kits a while back. I bought four pieces of four sheets of the Halloween kit deco and then four pieces or four sheets of the Serene Deco. And I was like, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to use it for both. And I did just because the Halloween deco was all black and white. And I knew I wanted some florals with some color to because that's what I use it for. I pull in color. So, um, yeah, I feel like that went really well and it looks really cohesive and I don't think you would have noticed if I didn't <laughs> if I didn't tell you because it her style, it, it just goes so well together. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking so fast. I apologize. And like I sound nervous. Do I sound nervous? I kind of feel nervous. I haven't done it. When's the last time I did a voiceover? It's been a while. I always say it's like a skill that you kind of have to use it or you lose it, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, okay, I marked my meetings again. Same, not same different way um, on Wednesday, just using some stickers from the kit and then of course the bats. And then we put an offer on two different houses this day. Didn't get either of them, but it was so nerve wracking <laughs> to put, <laughs> terrifying <laughs> actually, to put an offer on two houses on the same day. Cause like that could go really badly. Um, but we didn't get either of them, so it was fine, but definitely nerve wracking. Um, I used one of the, she had a square that came with her kit and then I used a Crafts by Taui square on top of it. And then just more bloom paper studio deco and kind of the same thing I'd been doing, um, the rest of the time. By the way, Crafts by Taui, my coupon code has updated now, which is exciting. So instead of it being Lauren OCT, it'll now be just Lauren 10 from here on out. So you can use that for Crafts by Taui. You got a freebie for it too. Again, coupon code information for all the shops that I, um, have coupon codes for is down below. Um, okay. So I marked that I went to, no, I had a whole foods, had Whole Foods delivered this day and I cleaned, um, you know, just picked up a little bit because my sister and her boyfriend were coming over. My sister was getting her hair near, uh, done nearby us. So her boyfriend came over and I'm marking, I'm putting that, um, that switch there because he came over to play FIFA with, with my husband for a while while she was getting her hair done. And then, um, again, that scallop quarter box. I did the same kind of thing. I layer it over the quarter box from her kit that that scallop one is from Crafts by Towie, but um, I'm marking that my sister and her boyfriend came over from dinner or for dinner. Same kind of thing that I did with the fancy boxes, although it, I don't think that one was from the kit. I think I had to pull that one in from my collection. Um, and then I used a wine glass that Tao, um offered to make for me, which was super kind. So you can now get those in her shop. They're available now as well with all the other kind of drink stickers <laughs> um, that are new. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, they had, they came over, we had a great time and, um, just made them dinner. And then we, oh my gosh, we made a dessert for them too. That was so good. We were testing it out. Cause I was like, I want to do this for the holidays. When we were, we went to Hawaii a couple times this fall. The first, when we went to Kauai, we bought this like coffee rum, which sounds kind of gross, but it's so good. And then when we were in Kauai, I got some like, some caramel that was like, with Tahitian vanilla and stuff. I don't know, very islandy. And we put it over both of those things over ice cream with some like cookies crushed on top. Oh my gosh, so good. It was like a little adult ice cream sundae. It was delicious. Um, okay, anyways, I'd rather talk about that than my meetings on Thursday. <laughs> uh, my meetings on Thursday, I just marked them similarly to how I marked them on Wednesday. I filmed. I also had a dentist appointment this day and I kind of marked it did the same kind of layering of the box thing and some florals and spiders and a toothbrush from White Deer Stationery. Um, and then down here, I'm marking, I was so excited that um, Alicia of Sadie Stickers came out with her new kit format this day. I knew she was had like reformatting her kit and I had given her some feedback and stuff, but I thought it was coming. I didn't think it was coming out until the, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. I might have to cut that out. I didn't know if it was coming out. I thought it was coming out in 2022, basically, is when I thought it was coming out. Um, so it was a surprise for me to see it now, and I was so excited. So I posted a bunch about it, and um, yeah, just 
just had a great time <laughs> um, being all excited about that. And then here I'm marking that um, with a little scallop from the kit at the bottom. I'm marking uh, with a game night sticker from Crafts by Towie that, this is so random, but my husband got Monopoly on his Nintendo Switch and we've been obsessed. We've been playing it like every single night, <laughs> which I always used to hate the Monopoly board game. It always made me think of the Dane Cook uh, skit that tells you, that so shows my age because Dane Cook was so cool when I was like in middle school, but um, there's a hilarious bit that he does about Monopoly. Um, but we've had so much fun playing it. I was, and we literally played it till 2 a.m. that first night on a friggin' I was gonna say school night on a work night. Um, but that was fun. And then moving on to Friday, I marked that I had one meeting and it was really early. Um, and then I marked that I spent a lot of time this day doing new release graphics. I felt like there was a lot of shops that I PR for or um, just enjoy their stuff and wanted to share. Um, so I spent mostly probably PR though, but spent a lot of time making graphics that morning for all of the new releases that day. Um, and then I also uploaded a plan ahead. It was the um, Halloween plan ahead that last one that I filmed on Monday. And then I, I guess it cut out, I think, but I had a coffee date with my mom. She was nearby. So we went and grabbed coffee together after my meeting was done in the morning. Marked that really similar to how I marked, um, the, the, uh, picking up coffee on Tuesday. And then down here I marked, we just had a really lazy night. We got takeout from one of our favorite places, some grilled chicken sandwiches. <laughs> and then, um, we watched Succession. Succession is back. I, was this the first, I can't remember if this was the first episode of it being back or probably if I marked it like this, it's probably the first one of it coming back. You know how I always mention that I'm not really a TV person. The last TV show that I watched I believe, oh no, there was one in between. I was going to say the last TV show that I watched was Succession, which pretty much I started when the pandemic began. And then I was going to say, oh, I, I haven't watched another one since <laughs> until restarting Succession up like a year and a half later or two years or I don't even know how long it's been, but I actually did watch, uh, what's it called? Someone's going to have to tell me the name, but it's like the Sunset, Selling Sunset. Yes. When I broke my arm last October and I was just kind of couldn't do a whole lot. And Steven went to Hawaii and I was just kind of sitting on the couch for a week. <laughs> I watched that whole, that whole series in one week. So, and that's kind of it. But anyways, okay. So moving on to Saturday, we had a, Steven and I went and did like a whole fun day this day. I've, if you've been with me for a couple years, we have a tradition of going to the pumpkin patch, um, that he grew up going to. And then going uh, wine tasting, which is near the, very close to the pumpkin patch, um, at the wedding, at the wedding, at the winery that we had our wedding at. Um, so I marked the pumpkin patch using one of Tay's signs with Sadie stickers. Um, I thought it was really cute to put the leaves from behind it and then the spider web, like it was on the sign because that's realistic and kind of haunted. <laughs> um, but so I marked that and then the pumpkins are actually, they're either from Simply Watercolor Co. or Harriet Wright Designs. Both of them offered them last year and I accidentally bought both. Um, so I put that there and then did the wine tasting. I also marked, we went to a couple breweries this day as well. We tried a new one to us that was, um, I think just kind of new. They we driven by a bunch of times and it used to just be a field with a bunch of hops in it, but they like built it out and did like live music and food trucks and like a bunch of bocce ball courts and stuff and kids were running around on the grass and whatever. So that was fun. A little kind of cute, quaint place. And then we went to another brewery and got some pizza and another more flights and all that. Marked that second one with the new flight sticker that Crafts by Tower Tau made for me, which was really fun. And then I again marked that we played Monopoly when we got home that night. Um, okay, moving on to Sunday, I'm marking that it was Halloween here. I think this turned out so cute, similar to how I marked a lot of other stuff in the planner, but adding that little jack-o'-lantern from the Pretty Pink Co. and the um, layered garlands. Um, that is from Sadie Stickers. And if you have trouble using garlands, you should pick those up. She does them for all different seasons, all different seasonal stuff. 
they are so easy and they make layering garlands so easy. So definitely give those a try if you like that trend, but just don't know how. Like it's such an easy way to do it. Um, and the script is from Paper Trail Plans. This kind of turned out that I was planning this the morning as of Sunday, so I didn't, the plans are actually inaccurate, but I marked working on this plan with me. Um, and then we went and did a ton of home tours this day. So I marked that with the Crossway Tally House. And then I marked Secret Santa. I still need to do a Secret Santa. Um, I'm like organizing one and I was going to get it all sorted this day, but that didn't happen because we wanted to carve the pumpkins that we got from the pumpkin patch. So we ended up doing like a pumpkin carving night and I think then just sitting on the couch and playing Monopoly again after. So I still, <laughs> that's moving. You'll see that Secret Santa probably in the plane with me for the week after this because that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, that is the whole spread. I'm showing you all the kit leftovers, all the sticker leftovers. You can see I used a couple pages of that Serene Deco. Um, and then um, I am putting them into my leftover sticker book here to... Um, use for, or to give away. Whenever I fill up the sticker book, I give it away. I'll give it away to um, whoever, you know, whoever wins that. So um, it's right next to, I'm putting it right next to the uh, Two Little Bees Halloween kit, and I feel like the florals from that kit would go really well with this kit too. So whoever gets it, that's a, more florals to pull in if you like. I had a lot of fun laying these florals down here because I put all of the florals down and then afterwards I went and put all of the um the birds in between the florals and I feel like it looked really nice. I try really hard when I put the stickers in the leftover sticker book to put them down in a way that looks good and is functional for whoever's going to use it whenever I give it away um because I feel like that that's helpful <laughs> if you're if everything like all the leftover boxes are in the same place and all that. Anyways, okay. Um, so this is the finished spread. I think it turned out really, really nicely. Again, kind of out of my comfort zone, but it felt like it pushed me in a way that was really fun. And um, yeah, I'm not really a creepy person. I don't like scary movies or anything like that. I don't feel like this is scary, but it does feel a little bit different. And um, I had a lot of fun kind of playing with it and messing with it. And I hope um, you like it and you don't mind seeing something a little bit different. It'll be back to pinks and florals next week, I'm sure. But <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it for me. As always, all the sticker shops can be found tagged on my Instagram. Coupon codes for everything is down below. And I think that's all. Thanks, everybody. Bye.